You see that right there? That's a meter run. That's a meter running backwards. That's why we do what we do. Camera right here, top angle. That's why I'm in solar, y'all. Oh my. Because the solar's producing more than the house is using. So, sun's out, sun's shining. Uh, obviously, they use power and it turns the other way. Let, let's look at the camera at an angle like this. You can see it run. So, this home right now uh, is consuming less than what the solar energy is producing. In other words, solar panels on the house, producing like crazy with the sun. The cool thing about uh, this type of meter is you can physically see it. Most people now have smart meters, you know, the electric ones, which are more difficult to read. But the point here is that uh, the meter is running backwards. This is a co-op. And how this co-op works, it's month to month billing. Month to month net metering. Billing period to billing period. Whatever your solar does, right, that, that's what you get. So what we do is we, we look at your billing period and we say, okay, what's their average usage? All right, we, they're using this much on average. And on this house, we did a 70% solar system. Because we don't want to overproduce because billing period to billing period, it starts over. It's not like rollover minutes. Remember back in the day, you had rollover minutes, you'd buy minutes from AT&T or T-Mobile, and if you had some left over, you get to use them up the next month. This specific co-op does not offer that. It starts over every time you start over fresh. Now, with this guy running backwards in a co-op, typically you have a minimum bill. The minimum bill may be $9, maybe $11. I've seen them as high as $23. Bucks. So we can get it down to the minimum every month if we do it right. Hey, the cool thing about co-ops is they're co-owned by you. You can go to the monthly meetings or the quarterly meetings and you can rally for solar and say, hey, we have solar. We want the minimum bill to go down. Is solar good in the co-ops? Yes, it is. It must be built properly. You don't want to oversize it and you want to make your home more energy efficient. So you want to do things in your home that's going to lower your consumption. LED light bulbs, hybrid water heater, attic insulation, uh, attic ventilation. Um, in this case, we did a hybrid water heater, like I said, in the battery. So there's a lot of things you can do to lower your consumption to get more out of your solar than the co-ops. Solar still makes sense. 2019 is the last year of the solar tax credit. It's still a fantastic time to go solar, even if you're in a co-op. If you have any other questions, you can contact us, and we look forward to hearing back from you. Hit subscribe.